you to Kelly, her wounds, her struggles, her journey. Because what she has done here is now serving something big. So in her example, we can send, we can observe how that journey, those struggles, conflicts, serve our transformation. And that's why we're here today, to experience it, to feel it in our, feel it in our bodies. The amazing experience led by Akasha before, that was so powerful and so beautiful. I was sitting there and I was just only saying yes, yes. Because in each of you, I saw the stories of your women, of your lineage, the way our body and the wisdom, the innate wisdom in our body store those primary emotions. Emotions that I saw that belong to the past. They don't belong to us. They belong to the past, to their struggles, their unfulfilled dreams, their grief, and also the light. The idea is that my guy told me, you're here today to spread the message of everything in the universe, seek compensation everything. Nothing behind quantum constellation, what I now call the forces of love. Why the forces of love? Because they drive us. They're as strong and as powerful as gravity. So all our experience, our calls that we received to give different solutions, a solution that is free and coherent to whatever happened in the past. So if you keep perceiving something the way you were told, the way it was perceived back there, then you force the cosmic consciousness to repeat that experience as many times as necessary until you give it a different solution. So the only thing we really need to heal is the perception. The perception of the, of the past, of our past. So let's experience it. Let's see, let's feel it in our body. What are those forces of love? And why they're trying to drive me to a movement towards reconciliation, acknowledgement. Because many of the conflicts we encounter in life is because we are in the no. In the no to everything that was before. Why? Because we compensate. We repair by repeating or by rejecting whatever happened. I need between seven and 14 volunteers here. Your body will tell you. Okay. Okay, allow me to 16, okay, oh. okay, you're in the front, you're here, you're here, come up, start connecting with your body exactly where you are, for each person, two behind. For each person, two behind. 
For each person to behind. For each person to behind. Just stay there. I'm going to show you how these forces drive us, take us to compensate. How the exclusion and the lack of belonging weaken us. When we, we are not here in our place, we lose strength. So this person was born from a father and a mother, right? Oh, okay. From a father and a mother. This mother was born from a father and a mother. This person was born from a father and a mother. How do you feel there? A little shaky. Okay. Okay. She is in a field of fear. Let's see. How do you feel? You're in a position, you know, different than this one. So do this movement. So this woman reject this man. You feel that rejection here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see how your body will be changing, okay? And at some point, you're going to turn. At some point, just feel it in your body. So there's a rejection wound. The child here doesn't feel the permission to see the father. Because she means life. The mother is the source of life. And the father, she's in the field of sadness, you see? Great. Great. You're okay. And the father is the world. So life and world. What do you feel here? Not permission to come, right? Because she doesn't let you. All right? So the mother is the one that opened up the space for the masculine, the feminine and the masculine. From her, we inherit Abundance, healthy relationships, life. How do we see our mother? It's the same way we see life. From him, the world, the projects, the territory, the land, the financial. When there is an interrupted movement of love towards the parents, we feel weakened. 